All right, welcome to uh, match two uh, of the mono red draft. Uh, definitely won a game that we should not have won. Uh, less, a lesson learned so far is aggressively mulligan the starting hands with mono red. And um, if you have the plus three plus zero enchantment, you put it on Spike Shot Elder, not on Porcelain Legionnaire. Two good lessons. Okay. What do we got here? Well, we got a jackal pup. Um, we got the skills in the elder, so I think that's a keeper. This time, put skills on elder, not jackal pup. <laughs> oh, this is the other mono red guy. Hey, hey there, other mono red guy. So we're gonna lead off with a pup. We'd rather the pup die. We this is kind of our ace in the hole. Is the Elder and skills, so don't want him to die. Muter Vault. Okay. Oh, this guy. Uh, so what do we do? Do we offer the trade here um, and take three? Uh, or do we just play the Elder? Hmm. Kind of want to attack and just take the three. Um, and then Chandra's Phoenix next turn. But no, I think I'll just play the Elder and then come in next turn with the, the Phoenix. He can't block, uh, which I just realized, so yes, we will attack. So yeah, he may split our bones here. Um, that's fine. We'll hit back next turn. Here I think we, uh, uh, so, okay, two options. So one option is to mm -hmm. madcap mm -hmm. on the Elder and then hope he doesn't have removal next turn. Or th the second option is go on the offensive with the Phoenix. Um, I want to say we, kind of want to say, I want to do the Phoenix to draw more remote. Let's see, how much am I taking, right? If I play an attack with a Phoenix, attack with both, I deal two to, I basically deal two and take two, so I'll be at 15, and the next chain he can hit me pretty hard. So no, I think I want to, um, I think I need to play the, the Madcap and hope that Bonus, I can at least just like attack with him. Um, and then do I, I think I attack with both a pup and a gutter snipe. Please don't kill my elder, bro. Yeah, okay. Don't have the two mana. 
works, sadly. So maybe I should have just played the Phoenix to draw out removal, uh, given that he's red. I think we attack with the, um, we play Avalanche Riders and then don't attack, mm -hmm. um, but attack with a pub. So against another mono red deck, well, Jackal Pup isn't the best, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if maybe mm -hmm. these like one one dudes mm -hmm. might be better. Um, mm -hmm. Gargadon. Um, mm -hmm. Let's take out Jackal Pup. Um, mm -hmm. Let's put in. Mm -hmm. And actually, I can see against a red deck like the Hammer being a lot better as well. Um, just for some, like, you know, some sort of permanent damage. Um, I don't know if Tangle Wire is that great. So I might take out Tangle Wire. Uh, you can see, like, yeah, going a little bit slower, maybe playing. Um, Yeah, maybe putting in a dragon spotter. Uh, and do I want to play a Gargadon? Maybe a second dragon spotter and go in for a, just like clock up the ground type of guy. Yeah, let's do that and remove. Yes, I'd like to play first. Okay, I'll keep this. So then do we play the Legionnaire or do we play these various fodders? I think we I think we go with the fodders. Uh, so do we trade and attack? Yeah, I think we do, right? So we may want to fire blast something. I think 
we play out the goblins and then, um, you know, afterwards we play the legionnaire. Just to kind of give him fewer targets or make him waste removal on these things. So I think we attack with all and uh, porcelain. Although, yeah, he does have the mute of all, doesn't he? Um, so yeah, I may just blaze that, just because. Yeah, I think I, I will. I will I'll, I'll attack with all and blaze the mute of all. Even though we don't hit our landfall, uh, taking him off the mana is pretty good. So next turn, if we don't draw land, we Porcelain Legionnaire. <clears throat> okay. Group zero. Okay, four, three, that's, that's a thing. <laughs> All right, uh, so I think we're just gonna we'll attack first. Don't relish playing the two life here, but okay. And so, <laughs> if he has some other defender, we our trail. Otherwise, we can. Um, even if he holds back to block, we could still arc trail. Ooh, FTK, that's painful. So I think we have to arc trail the Kavu and then him. Uh, not the best here. Uh, so, yeah, I think we want to attack just because Fire Blast, right? So and hope to outreach him. So next turn we try to do two and fire blast.
So I think we can still win here, right? Um, as long as we don't die. Useless. Uh, so I think we just attack with all, do two damage, and fire blast him. That's our, our bet. Yeah, we still can. Uh... game we were low on land the hammer was pretty atrocious the goblin dudes were amazing though so I think I want to take out the hammer and put in the beetleback chief um, since yeah just plain just guys to clog up the ground was uh, very strong um, do I want to add that extra land um, just to make sure I hit my drops I think I might I kind of want to take thunder maw held kite out and um, bring in an extra land. Um, just for consistency, uh, even though I want it to mm -hmm. land there. Uh, yeah, j you know, I think... Uh, yeah, let's do that. So the uh, token token generators were really nice in the mono red deck. Okay, uh, well, so the plus side we have goblin guide. The minus side we only have one land. Um, we do have our combo of elder and skills, but you know with the amount of removal I have, he has it's not that good. Um, so can we draw a land in the next two turns? If we do, we have. Um, this fodder, yeah, all right, I'm going to keep, keep in hope. Yes, play well, get rewarded. This guy's reasonable with the uh, dragon fodder. Creatures mm -hmm. of haste, okay. So, uh, do we play? We attack first, and then do we play the. Mm -hmm. Now, or do we go all in on skills? Now, do I think what we do is we play, we keep the skills in the elder for kind of the late game. So the question is, do we play the striker or the fodder? Uh, I kind of want to say the fodder. Play. Don't get land. Play fodder. Blocks his guys. Uh oh, 
FedEx plane speaker. That's scary. You got the top card and he didn't play it, huh? Uh, okay, well, let's see what he does here. So he has haste. Um, so one option is just to chump here. Um, just to not give him have a card, because, you know, he'll... But he's out of mana, so there's a reasonable chance that uh, if it's something he can't play it. Um, so yeah, let's just chump with this into, and uh, keep going on the offensive here. Reveal the mountain. Okay. All right. So he's probably going to play his flame speaker equip uh, this for double strike, which is a six damage, and I don't think I want that. Um, so. One option is I do the Elder and the Skills and just hope it works, uh, but man, that just seems like really bad. Uh, I feel like I'm better off playing Phoenix, attacking with a guide, and chumping with a goblin. Um, yeah, let's do that. Keep the goblin to chump. And stop getting those. So next turn, maybe I do the Firefist Striker and the Elder. Definitely chumping his guy if he attacks with the equipped uh, Bone Splitter. He may not attack, though. I don't know if it's good for him to do that. Oh, it's Trample. Shit. I didn't realize it was Trample. Trample fuck. Fuck fuck. Um, yeah, so in that case, I just want to go all in and attack. That was a mistake. Um, okay, I'm not going to block. Well, or, you know, the other option is I Fire Blast here. Um, takes me down to one. But then he takes... Four. He takes five damage. No, no. Uh, five damage. He's down to seven. Oof. Yeah, I think we fire blast it. I don't so man I could have gotten an extra point of damage in which would have been super relevant uh, if I thought about the trample um, if I let him hit me down to 12 presumably I can hit him down to like five or six which is pretty strong um, yeah I think I um, oh, but then he gets like a free bolt or something that's really gross no, I, I kill it. I kill it.
else we've got? Nothing else. That's a nice. Um, so I think we attack with everyone and play the striker. Is what we're doing here? Or do we play the skills? Now we play the striker. So next turn, we can we can make them not block with whatever, and maybe even play the skills. Uh, oh, that's a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. All right, so. The question is, do I play the? Do I play? The, do I go all in and play the skills here? Um, three, five. So I can do five damage. Plus another three would be eight to bring him down to six, which is pretty scary. Um, but no, I think we um, we attack it with everyone. Play both of these dudes, and he can't block. Let's go for the log. I hope this works, right? At least two other creatures mm -hmm. attack. That's a good, that's a great card. I wish I had Koth. I really would have liked that. <laughs> okay, so is he going to hit me for, for eight here? I would actually welcome that. <laughs> yeah, a few attacks with that? I mean, sure. He hit me for nine, um, and then I don't I just kill him back? Two, four, five, six, seven. That seems dangerous to me, but okay. All right, I got two, four, five, six, seven, and then eight from sacrificing the Mog Fanatic. Um, yeah, I'm not going to block. I'll, I'll take it. Elder to kill the Chainwalker and then just attack with everyone and that deals uh, the thing is want to make sure we don't get hit back on the Alpha Strike back right so kill this so we're doing two four five six seven right um, we're doing seven damage to him he doesn't block and we can sack the Mog Fanatic for eight, but then on the swing back, he's got us for five with this, two with this, mm -hmm. and four mm -hmm. with this, so he's got six plus five, 
so he's doing 11 and all he needs is like a lightning bolt to kill us um, doesn't seem the best so uh, maybe we want to just leave a guy back to chump right so maybe what we want to do is uh, like attack with everyone except the mog fanatic and then chump and sack uh, which would still no, or can we put in madcap skills and just like just win so that's five six seven uh, two, target creature can't attack or block um, Yeah, the problem is though. Uh, so we may we attack. We make it so Thrag Test can attack, right? Uh, don't put the skills on the Phoenix, but put it on the um, Fire Fist Striker. So this is dealing five, uh, six, seven, and then eight, nine. Right? Let, let, let's double count that so dealing five with these guys uh, he blocks let's say he blocks the my mod fanatic five then we deal six seven um, if he blocks the mug fanatic I throw it at him eight nine so that's good uh, if he doesn't block if he blocks the elder we're doing five um, six seven eight so isn't it just better to Oh no, because I, f I don't have the mana to use the Elder shit. So five, um, so I can't use the Elder, so it would be ideal five, six, seven. Um, let's say he like, he'd probably like block the Elder seven, right? And then eight, uh, so no, not great. So I think what we wanna do is uh, use the Elder to kill his Gore House and then leave back like two ground dudes to chump. Um, yeah. Or even like one ground dude to chump. So he, if he has burn, right? Um, he could have like, if let's say I keep like just Mug Fanatic back and I kill him. So four, five, six, take him down to three. I don't think I need to be that risky, right? I think I can take him down to four, and I still have like with a mad cap, like something scary with a mad cap. So let's attack with the Elder and the Striker and leave the Goblin and Mug back just in case, because he can hit us for. 11 otherwise like he, he could have like that way if he has two removal spells we still don't die right otherwise if we just hold back with mug fanatic um, he removes the mug fanatic uh, has burn for us and then can, can kill us so we don't want that so attack um, do we care about the cough no we don't care about the cough Attack him. Attack him, and we have to make sure we attack with at least one other guy, right? So let's attack him. And then we leave two guys back.
And we still have an out for the long game with a spike shot okay. elder, right? Call of the herd, okay. Flashback the, the call of the herd. If he flashbacks the call of the herd, I'm fine with that, right? Because then I can just kill with the madcap mm -hmm. skills. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if I take, so he has three blockers. If I block Chump and sack him, he has at best three blockers. If let's see, he flashes back. Um, and I have one, two, I'll have one, two, three attackers, uh, but one of the blockers can't block, so I have two vectors to get in. Um, but I think there's still, yeah, no need, I mean, I might as well just keep the Mog Fanatic as a potential attacker, right? Uh, I don't see what I gain by champing here. So, sure, let's just take it. This guy was so great in the 6th edition rules where you could put damage on the stack and sack him. <laughs> he was really great. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of missed that mug fanatic. Mm -hmm. back the call of the herd. Okay, good. All right, so we can, I think we have a uh, lethal here. So uh, we'll just put this on the Phoenix. If he somehow deals with it, um, I still get at least two in and a seal of fire. against the hybrid red green uh, and here we are to the finals.